Hi, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Welcome to Rock 2022 AU, November's second album. Before we get into that, make sure you watch the video to the end. I want to talk about next year's make along and the feedback I got from people. And I may have a question for all those subscribers out there to help me with whatever I'm planning for next year. So guys, November the 15th, it's time for our second album. It is quite late. I've had a really busy day at work. Got a big meeting on Thursday. So yes, I will get this uploaded tonight, even if it is just before midnight. So our second album, which band do you think we would pick as an iconic band? Well, I had a discussion with Thing and of course, he said, you can't go past the Rolling Stones. Another one of his very favorite bands. Done a bit of research, so I'll read it to you what I found out. Look, I don't mind the Rolling Stones, but I'm not a huge fan. Um, when I hear them, I enjoy their music, but I don't go out and in search of their music. The Rolling Stones are an English band um, formed in London in 1962. Active for six decades, they are one of the most popular enduring bands of the rock era. In the early 1960s, the Rolling Stones Stones pioneered gritty, rhythmical driven sound that came to define hard rock. The first stable lineup consisted of vocalist Mick Jagger, um, multi instrumentalist Brian Jones, guitarist Keith Richards, bass, bassist Bill Wyman, and drummer Charlie Watch. During their formative years, Jones was a primary leader. He assembled the band, he named the band, he drove their sound and image. After Andrew Oldman became group, the group's manager in 63, he encouraged them to write their own songs. And Jagger and Richard formed a writing partnership and came the primary creative force behind the band. Alienating Jones, who had developed a drug addiction that interfered with his ability to contribute meaningfully to the band. Jones left the band shortly before he died in 1969. Their music is rooted in blues and early rock and roll. The Rolling Stones started out playing covers and were at the forefront of the British invasion in USA in 1964, becoming identified with youthful, rebellious counterculture of the 60s. So you had the Beatles with their sort of out there clean cut boy image and then you had the rebellious Rolling Stones. Still fairly clean cut in their early days but more grungy and grittier and rebellious. Past members who have come and well core members are of course Mick Jagger, Keith Richards and Ronnie Wood. Past members who have come and gone Brian Jones, Ian Stewart, Bill Wyman, Charlie Watts and Mick Taylor. The Rolling Stones' estimated sales of 200 million make them one of the best-selling music artists of all time. So, Things is a big fan and has seen them live. Um, yeah, he, he would listen to uh, the Beatles or Rolling Stones at the same level. We have five of their vinyl albums in the collection that belong to him. and uh, We have Dirty Work... Some Girls, Tatter You, It's Only Rock and Roll, and Roll Gold, which is the best of the Rolling Stones. He would love a 1971 pressed edition of Sticky Fingers. Um, if I ever see one in our second-hand vinyl shop um, locally, I'll definitely get at him as a gift because he feels like there's a gap in his collection. So out of all of those, and he laid out all of them on the coffee table to me, for me to look at the album covers, I was thinking about what would inspire our project. So Tattoo You is very red, black, and flesh-coloured. Um, Royal Gold is just black with gold and their pictures. But one did stand out, and that, of course, is our album cover to inspire you. And it is Dirty Work. Because it is colourful, it has lots of great colours. Blues, yellows, hot pinks, reds. I love this greeny colour here 
and I'm not a fan of green but I do like this one and I do have a lot in my stash so that's your cover and that can inspire your project that's the back just like rainbowy colors all over so yeah rainbow colors it will be difficult to pick a music list just like the Beatles look I'm not a great fan but I do like their music when I hear it I enjoy it I just don't go searching out their music so what else can inspire you well if you look down their song list there's a lot with colors in it brown sugar I've got blues painted black cherry oh baby silver train she's a rainbow ruby tuesday there you go you can pick lots of colors from the music to inspire your project and you could probably make some really interesting projects so if you want to leave a comment and let me know of your experiences with rolling stones if you like their music what's your favorite album what's your favorite song and thing we'll be reading them to see how great they are admired everywhere in the world so that's our second album for the mum rolling stones dirty work so why did i ask you to stay to the end well thank you to everyone who gave me feedback about this year's make along and it was interesting to read but I think the majority of us feel six months is enough. So next year I will do a make along. It will run from the 1st of January to the end of June. There'll still be two uh, a month, one on the 1st and one on the 15th. And there will be a participant prize draw. It'll be exactly like this one, but with a different theme. And because everyone was so helpful with feedback, I have some feedback questions for you. I'd like you to comment on in the description below now um, YouTube will give you lots of analytics but some of them don't have enough detail for a statistician and bookkeeper like me so the question is I'd like you to tell me where you're from for example I live in Cairn, a suburb of Cairns which is located in the state of Queensland often referred to far north of Queensland because we're right up the top in Australia so the place you live the state you live in and the country you live in and there is only one stipulation that you are a subscriber it's about feedback from subscribers um, and I will check if I don't know who you are that you are a subscriber because your information although not useless is not what I'm looking for for my feedback so I hope you participate like I know Janice who lives in Melbourne. She's actually in Wangaratta, which is an outer area of Melbourne. Um, it's a place of its own. And it's in Victoria, a state south of here, um, like the bottom end of here. I know, for example, Mel, the Beanie Queen, is in Western Australia. I know she lives um, in the southern part of the state of Western Australia, but I'm not sure what quite what town so yeah if you can give me feedback and i would love subscribers from all over the world you know it says on my analytics i've got usa australia canada india singapore japan that people watch me from it's hard to believe because they say my channel is growing very slowly but yes it says the percentage of where these people are from and i'd love to get feedback from subscribers all over the world just to help me with what I am trying to achieve with the channel. So I hope you participate and let me know in the comment below, comments below this video. Guys, I hope you enjoy the second album and yes, enjoy the Rolling Stones and get a bit grungy and grittier with some hard rock and roll. Until next time, stay safe, stay well, peace be with you.